Needing positivity all around you. Many life struggles trying to hold you down. When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds that try to tear you down. Why they want to say? My Gemini. <laughs> My Yanny and Gemini's, yeah. Twins, what's poppin', bitch? Did you miss me? Huh? 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 I miss y'all motherfucking asses. Listen, twins, are you guys working your magic, literally? Huh? Huh? Are you guys harvesting and experiencing a space, a beautiful space of ascension, as well as rapid manifestations. Are you seeing things blossoming and flourishing before you? After shaking some fuck shit off, my little shake was stiff as fuck. But is you? <laughs> hey, well, hey, if this first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time you're on my channel, listen, okay? I cuss, all right? They cuss a little, they cuss a lot. Just depend on how they, what the hell these cars stand. But oh, I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free right down now, okay? To find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up, I'm a cuss. It's my shit, all right? Also, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, you guys. The readings, the support, the love, the, the love. Ultimately, because you guys have been very supportive, and I really want to thank you, Gemini. Thank you so much. All right. Also, if you need a personal reading, you guys, that information can be found within the description box below. Y'all go look at that shit. I don't do all that motherfucking googling and techy ass shit for nothing. Bit go look at that shit. All right. Don't be asking me. Go look at that shit. All right. Also, um, if you're new to the family, hey boo. Welcome to the family. We all are dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss. However, we leave that shit on other people's channel, all right? But we do cuss. We do that shit, all right? We share. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We evolve. Sometimes we cry. We one big happy family over here. Positive vibes only, okay? Positive type teams. Also, Gemini, this message ain't finna resonate with every damn Gemini, okay? Take, take what does. Leave the fucking rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try and... Put that motherfucker on because your ass going to slip and fall every time. Period. All right? So, leave it for whatever Gemini resonates for. All right? But without further ado, this will be for, uh, your um, your general message for the month of December. Okay? Featuring the Sagittarius. My puppy ass. Some of y'all could heavily be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay? Some of you guys could also uh, be in this. Uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo was very significant for you all, okay? Um, very strong. Also, Pisces. Um, I definitely I definitely picked up a lot of interference energies, gems, okay? So, um, for some of you all, there's a lot of... There's caution around projected energy. There's also caution around backfiring, okay? So, for some of you all, this could literally mean the use of magic, of course, backfiring, okay? And for some of you all, I am hearing awareness, okay? Psychic awareness, esoteric awareness. For some of you all, I I am hearing sages, all right? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your channel messages. You guys, I got a few songs for y'all. But I'm going to run them down in the order I got them because I feel like I'm talking to a few groups of Geminis, all right? <clears throat> I heard Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, what I'm getting ready to sing. Um, I don't know who sing it. It'll come to me later. Or oh, y'all go look that shit up. But it goes, um, you're no good, heartbreaker. You're a liar and you're a cheat. And I don't know why I let you do these things to me. My friends keep telling me that you ain't no good. Oh, they don't know. I li okay, so I don't know the words, but something about someone, your friends, your family could be warning you about a, a specific individual, gems. They ain't told no motherfucking lies, okay? I feel like something to meet the mind of your own motherfucking business. Right, that's the magic in 2021. Your own fucking business. Mind that. I, um, but I do feel, um, for some of you all, there could be an apology or a reconciliation of a friendship. Um, I am picking up the the energy of I told you so, but someone being empathetic to your needs and being compassionate to um, your space of heartbreak. I feel like for some of you all, get over yourself when it comes to the pride with your friend, okay? 
another group of y'all. Lumo, Scorpio, Leo. I heard Sagittarius again. Virgo. Um, Aries. Ta-da! Try to make it disappear. Make yourself invisible. Get the hell up out of here. Ding dong. The sound I'm waiting for. The taxi's outside and the driver's at the door. Vroom. Won't you please disappear? Okay. So some of y'all want somebody to get the fuck up out of your energy, your house, your space, your... Listen, no ham, no ma'am, no turkey. You not fucking with this person, okay? This could be some, how someone feels towards you is what I'm hearing, Gemini. But I'm strongly feeling that this is Gemini feeling this towards another individual. But someone doesn't know how, okay? Someone, there's this element of needing the secret sauce. Gemini, either you or another person pertain... They, they have the secret sauce that could really shift all of this. But I feel like there's this element of... Being stressed out about leaving a situation that stresses you the fuck out, Jim. Now that's a, that's that's a, that's a slightly a form of insanity. Okay. Now I, I I don't know who this resonates with, but for some of you all, I'm also picking up on the element of hygiene. Someone has bad hygiene as well. So you got you have the nerve to be disrespectful, and you ain't wash your ass. <laughs> the catastrophe, you going to hell. All right, listen. Um, let me jump to the intuitive messages. Um, lastly, um, I last lastly I got Sierra, okay? Um, there's nothing I won't do to spend my life with you. I'll give my all to you. I promise I will never lie to you, boy. Okay, so Sierra's also a Scorpio, so some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. I feel like you're trying something new, and you're enjoying yourself, and I feel like other motherfuckers want to come in and fuck with you. They want to shake your peace tree, and Jim and I ain't fucking having it in the month of December, all right? They ain't know I'm the messenger. Tag me, and I tell the motherfucker, hell, y'all cut the fuck up. Y'all tell them. Shit, y'all don't, if you don't know other air side, tell them. Y'all go tell them. Okay, so let me get some to your intuitive messages. You guys, you guys got custody, insurance fraud, shadow work, closure, co-parent, forgery, harvest, misery loves company, mental illness, heritage, delusional, astrology, investments, test of faith, playing both sides, regret, new love, Confessions, past life regressions, universal gifts, sexual exploration, tantric sex, envious, fa envious family member, approvals, grants, spiritual teacher, practitioner, energy harvesting, health, plant magic, sexually confused, illuminous, guilt trap, detox, Thief, health scare, lunar magic, illuminist, love language, silently building empires, business influx, exposure, compromise, astral confirmations, expansion, lineage curses broken, sex magic, secrets. Okay? So, Gemini, there's a lot of energy around exposure things being illuminated okay for some of you all i am heavily hearing subconscious space some of you guys could be dream interpreters or there's a need for you to connect with a dream interpreter especially if you're having dreams regarding you falling for some of you all i'm also picking up on plant magic herbal divination okay um this could even be the use of puppets hoodoo voodoo cultural I'm hearing healer of the ages. So I feel like this has to do with like various cultures. You've lived many lives. I feel like for some of you all, you're going through a very um, regressive stage. I am picking up on an accent. Like some of you guys could be um, talking in an accent that you don't understand why the hell you're using that accent. All right. So let's jump into your crystal oracle message. Y'all know we got virtual school around here because you got to get it popping. Mommy Mo is finna be on the scene. So clean, so fresh and so clean. Alright, what crystal will be useful for my Geminis for the month of December, Spirit? 
So I'm gonna, all right, you put two. Two fail. Okay, you guys got the golden healer. You also got soulmate. Honey, I'm immediately hearing heart chakra, okay? Heart chakra. I'm also hearing portals. Accessibility. Portals. All right? Let's get it. We're going to number 27. You guys got the golden healer. Ultimate healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by six metaphysics. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once. Where there is no time. You create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed um I'm sorry, your ability your abilities needed honing and those who heal wait, and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task. Do so with grace and ease. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of this stone is exceptionally high. It's good for the soul star and stellar gateway, aligns and cleanses all chakras. The timing is with every moment. And for those with the soul path of a channel for Christ consciousness, you guys are spiritual teachers. You are healers, okay? I am picking up on a lot of transmutation energy. Again, a lot of esoteric knowledge. I am picking up on multidimensional. Some of you all, I am hearing Arcturian. Some of you guys, I'm hearing Palladian, okay? For others of you, I am picking up on, again, this sense of Christ consciousness. I am hearing Master Soul. Y'all got me challenging them. Now, let's get it because this message cannot be long, girl. Even my kids got school, honey. Soulmate. The Twin Flame. Gems. Number 35. Fate. Destined. This was fate. This actually written in the stars is what I'm hearing. The Twin Flame. Two crystals side by side call in a twin flame, a compliment to your soul. This is what people mean when they ask for a soulmate. A twin flame bonds two people in an intimate relationship or unites you with the higher part of your soul. You yearn to be loved, but does this come from a black hole you need to fill? Black holes can be filled only by the in or only from the inside by loving yourself fully and integrating different facets of your being. A twin flame means embracing deep intimacy and interdependency between yourself and another at the spiritual and physical levels. Old heartbreak may need to be healed. Ties with the past companion, uh, companion <clears throat> cut or vows renegotiated. Prepare for open-heartedness, intimate, unconditional love. Decide whether you want a soulmate with the soul lessons that implies or a twin flame, a companion of your heart. You don't need anyone else to make you complete. A twin flame complements your own wholeness. The frequency of this stone is earthy or high depending on the crystal. The chakra is uh, the chakra that it governs earth star, your heart chakra, soul star, and stellar gateway. Timing, any moment. Those with the soul path of unconditional, mutually supportive union, okay? For some of you all, I'm literally hearing face the music. Some of you all are in karmic marriages. I feel like that soul contract is the fuck up. I feel like there's stress around leaving a situation and how to do it. Some of y'all don't know if you want to be cool or blow the bitch up, all right? Um, <clears throat> let's get your soul lesson for the month of December. Then we're going to jump into the tarot, okay? So give me two soul lesson messages. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, North Node, Mars, I'm hearing Jupiter, all right? Courage. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. I immediately heard Leo, okay? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. For some of you all, you need to laugh more. I feel like there's this need to embrace the harmony within self. For some of you all, you may be in this space of coming out of hermit mode. Some of y'all is going into hermit mode. Some of y'all is regretting letting somebody back in your damn life, okay? I know that I cannot change the past, all right? So for some of you all, this could also have to do with the decision that was made in the past. I am hearing co-parenting, okay? For some of you all, I am also picking up someone using the, like, someone using children 
um, to manipulate a situation or make you feel down or make you feel judged. You could also be doing this to another individual, okay? I am also picking up on soul ties, all right? So let's jump into the tarot. Let's see. Heart chakra, heart chakra. For some of you all, there's a need for you to flip your ills into lessons around the things that you've experienced, okay? I'm also hearing trauma bonding. So some of you all, this could be you mirroring another person from a space of trauma around abandonment or rejection. The feel, the, it's like the need to be needed. But I feel like for some of you all, because you're finding this wholeness or you're recognizing or realize, realizing this wholeness within self, for some of you all, I feel like there's this desire to want more, to think bigger, to want to manifest more there's also a big focus on legacy wealth i'm also picking up on a competitive energy in the workplace as well gems okay courage some of y'all may have a boss that's a bully you may have to get that bitch together gracefully nice nasty like all right there's two of y'all remember that and that's okay that is oh the fuck k i understand you're crazy y'all speak your language my venus is in gemini all right my Chiron is in gemini as well all right, communication. All right, so some of you all, some of y'all could be trying to, could be working, trying to um, communicate a situation. I'm hearing co-parenting very heavily. Okay, some of you all don't know if you want to lay. It's like you have a two minds about a situation. You don't know if you want to lay a situation to rest or work on it. I feel like a conversation needs to be had, and there could be someone avoiding, avoiding having a conversation. I feel like someone feels as if they're going to expose their hand or expose their vulnerability, and there's a fear around rejection that's really needing to be like worked out. I am hearing a lot of shadow work. Okay, for some of you all, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is broke as hell. I feel like for some of you all, you should have asked this person for their fucking social security number at the time of meeting them because they've been dependent as fuck on your ass all fucking 2020 and beyond. And I strongly feel like you need to make a decision for you when it comes to you growing, you building, you being fulfilled, especially when it comes to love. Are you staying with a situation because you're afraid of being judged or looked at as a failure because the relationship is not working, especially if this has to do with the marriage. Do you feel as if you're obligated to another person, even though you see, they see, it's been proved, it's a proven fact that this individual doesn't want to grow and you got big dreams. I feel like you have to make a decision on choosing yourself and your happiness, your happiness or making someone else happy. And I feel like there's been a history or this, or this habit of, Saving people is what I'm hearing, Gems. Some of you all love, you love from a space of voidedness. Like, you, for whatever whatever that you felt was missing or whatever that you felt voided in your life or that was voided, I feel like you're loving people from this space of lack. Like, there's, they're wanting you to transmute that energy because when people don't respond the way that you expect for them to respond, you feel betrayed or hurt. But I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with, like, projected energy as well from another individual. Like, someone being emotionally manipulative or making you feel as if, like, what am I going to do without you? Or how am I going to make this work if you're not here? Or how, you know, what, are you just going to take my kids away from me type shit, okay? Uh, for some of you all, you could also be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn who could be dealing with a water sign. Someone's someone's making a decision and I feel like someone's making a damn decision but through something being illuminated or something being exposed. Okay. I am picking up on um all right. Yeah, someone could also be trying to cause chaos or like do some type of spell work to bring a cause a relationship to end. Some of you guys could be found could be finding out that this was actually done to you, but it was a blessing in disguise. I feel like something ending is the catalyst to you being blessed with like karmic blessings or your karmic justice. I feel like something is coming in to intervene to get you out of a situation that you couldn't end your damn self. And I feel like for some of you all, you're resisting. There's been a sense of resisting this happening. This could be involving a fixed sign, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, uh, Leo, Scorpio. All right. For some of you all, this could also be ending the way that you view love. For some of you all, your views of love was negative as fuck. For some of y'all, this could also be another air sign in your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all, this could also be um, a water sign. I keep hearing, you had a lot of crooks try to steal your heart. That way, didn't really help. How to love, Luane. How to love. Alright. Um, yeah. For some of you all, you love another. I feel like there's there's this element of being in love. with Like being in, being ultimately or genuinely in love with someone. 
but being in another situation or caught in another situation due to family ties but you're not fulfilled for some of you all there's a lot of self-sabotaging behavior with this i feel like for some of you all there's a lot of guilt i feel like someone i'm hearing guilt trap so someone could be like making you feel trapped in guilt for making a decision for you to leave a situation some of y'all make up and leave your damn job and actually branch out when it comes to entrepreneurship you're gonna face your fears some of you all have a fear of failure you're gonna face your fears some of you all you're creating a damn towel moment for some of y'all there's a cancer they want to come blow your fucking spot up because this person feels as if they someone is a fucking energy vampire they're a parasite all right for others of you this have to do with you not blaming another individual for you being unfulfilled and you taking the damn rings and you taking life by the damn rings and you taking your own life in your own damn hands and making a decision and not really giving a fuck about how the fuck it shakes shit up. Alright? Some of you all may have to be a mediator in a situation. This could be a marriage of a family member of yours. Okay? I'm hearing daughter. Some of you all could actually have someone trying to vicariously live through you making you feel guilty around your, about your spiritual beliefs here as well. I feel like some of you all, you're your own worst enemy when it comes to serving the collective around education, okay, educating them. I am picking up on a lot of uh, philosopher type energy, okay, for some of you all, you're spiritual teachers. You could actually teach, um, teach, 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 uh, have teachings around the occult. You could be a practitioner. You could actually want to do spell work for other people when it comes to unbinding or uncrossing. This could even be you actually offering products to do so. I feel like, Gemini, you guys are being called in a major way to ascend. And it's going to require that you make some type of sacrificial gain. But I feel like whatever it is that you're sacrificing, you're unhappy with it anyway. But this is time that you face. This is, this is the time in the month of December. I feel like a lot of you guys are facing your fears. You're going to take on that new relationship. You're going to let love in. You're not going to worry about how things went in your damn past with well, whoever this earth sign is, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of y'all, you got a sneaky ass earth sign. This person could even be, um, somebody's like, they didn't expect for you to grow so fast. I feel like your growth is intimidating someone. They're used to you needing them. Someone's afraid that you're not going to need them anymore. You're going to see them for who they are. A Fisher Price ass magician. For others of you, you're finding out that someone has been who, who, the person who you thought was doing spell work on you, Gems. For some of you all, you're going to actually get a confirmation that it's not that individual. It's someone that's close to you, who you share your ideas with. There's, okay, this is very important. Jim Spirit wants me to let you know that if you are waiting on some money or if you are waiting on two things. If you are waiting on some type of finances or some type of money or some type of grant or something to be approved, I feel that that is going to be approved upon you leaving a particular situation because somebody is plotting to rob your ass, okay? Two, if you're on the flip side of this, this could be you plotting to hold something back or to steal something from another person that is going to end very fucking badly, okay? I am the messenger. You can shoot me down all you like. But if someone is plotting to steal something from you or take something from you, that shit is going to end all badly. I feel that your spirit guides are warning you to protect yourself. Watch how you move and pay attention to your surroundings. Someone could have e even been trying to sabotage your vehicle to cause you to become stuck or by yourself or vulnerable. Someone's expecting for you to be unaware of this, okay? Be careful with who you're reconciling with. I see that for some of you all, if you're reconciling with a fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, for some of y'all I'm hearing Sag, this individual is trying to rob you. For some of you all, this could be physically rob your ass. For some of you all, this could also be robbing you of your energy. For others of you, this is your ideas, but spirit is saying, stay woke, Geminis. These motherfuckers, are creeping okay so we're gonna lay out some advice I am hearing karmic justice you will get your justice this is the season all right all right I'm gonna keep that because they said keep that when it actually fill out blame stop blaming yourself because it came out in reverse I'm accept I accept responsibility for my well-being for some of you all this have to do with you blaming your damn self or blaming another person for a decision that you made take accountability okay this is the season of accountability. If motherfuckers not taking accountability jumps, you got to tell them motherfuckers to get lost. 
They gotta fucking you gotta get lost. You gotta get lost because you can't help me build if you can't see your error, the error in your own fucking ways and take your lick, man. All right, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Trust what the fuck you know. You guys are receiving downloads. You're receiving hits. If you're receiving downloads around leaving a job, for some of you all, I am picking up on some type of legal, like some type of, I'm here in bankruptcy, so some of y'all could be finding out that your job is going under. I'm also hearing insurance fraud, manipulation of insurance benefits. This could be someone who works for a small company. I feel like there's been talks within the company. But spirit is literally nudging you to start that damn business and take that damn leap of faith. For some of you all, someone also could be trying to record you. Be careful what you send to people via text message this month, Gems. Perseverance. What the fuck you will persevere, honey? I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Whatever it is the spirit is nudging you to begin, Gems, it's time to get started. It's time to it's time to, to focus only on what it is that you want to uh, that, that what you want to build. Whatever it is that makes you happy. Fuck what everybody else got to say and fuck their opinions right now. Because you all, all, you all have this inner knowing. And Spirit is saying, listen, trust what you feel. Trust that inner knowing. It's not guiding you wrong, baby. It's guiding you through the damn door of happiness, fulfillment. And you will persevere in, in order to get there. But you're going to have to make some type of sacrificial gain here, honey. Alright? This is a sacrificial game. Alright, so you guys let me know how the hell this resonates. I love you long time. If you need a personal reading, hit me up to go more so in debt, okay? Um, but y'all, you guys have a beautiful and blessed December. Happy holidays to y'all and see y'all next time.